who decides what obesity is? Who decides when we are obese? It goes by a BMI, biometric, what is it, something anyway. Right. I have been considered obese at one time, according to my BMI. going to be episode episode two and it's going to be Amanda's take on obesity which Your I just topic of my topic of, of obesity yeah. so and we know you know it's it's a sensitive topic you want to know what I think absolutely about what obesity mm -hmm. or it's a I think it's an okay. epidemic it, it is right. an epidemic it's proven Statistically, in the United States, obesity is an epidemic. Everybody's like, okay, I thought this video was what Amanda thought. I hush, can't, I can't shut up. I can't shut up. I love to talk. <laughs> I just like to see myself. <laughs> you know. Okay, anyway. There are, lots of, there are lots of points to be made with this. Number one, who decides what obesity is? Who decides when we are obese? It goes by a BMI, biometric, what is it, something anyway. Right. I have been considered obese at one time, according to my BMI. Overweight, borderline, obese, um, like low obese or whatever. Obese is a negative term with negative connotations, with negative, negative stigma attached, all of those ugly things that whenever somebody says you're obese, you look in the mirror and you have a negative self-image and then all of the other things you get pissed because it's like, oh, I love myself. So I don't like the word. I don't like talking about it in that respect. But that's not to say that if we're happy with ourselves and we're okay with the way things are, then we have, that's our choice, right? And choices come with consequences, whether positive or negative. So if we, if we like ourselves, you know, we're voluptuous and big is beautiful. And there are, I know, a lot of very beautiful, larger ladies. Um, Just ladies? I don't really look at men <laughs> <Just teasing>. like... <laughs> Yes, ladies, men, whatever. I, yeah. I, I know a lot of very large people, and they're, we all have our own insecurities. If I'm too small, I'm insecure. If I'm too big, I'm insecure. If I'm too pale, I'm insecure. If I'm too dark, I'm insecure. We all have our insecurities. Now, going back to the point you were making as a chronic disease, okay, the CDC says yes, obesity is an epidemic in the nation of the United States, and that chronic disease. Why? Because it's causing health problems and the financial things associated are costing or you know, costing us a fortune. So I think the point of the videos is to say that we're not saying anything negative about it. It's just that what we do as far as offering advice, offering ways to work around that, um, if people are interested, is out there. It's, it's not as complicated as what it's made out to be and there's like million and one different diet and lifestyles that people can adopt um, but you got you know if you want it you start somewhere and if you want to feel better that might be something you want to take a look at is my overall health and that is included well to go back to the other video by no means am I saying that someone right. overweight is not attractive right. or no, not at all. you know ugly or bad person or judgmenting just being judgmental towards that person as a person but however as someone in the fitness and health industry the fact is obesity leads to a numerous amount of medical Other problems, medical problems. It's, it's health related your your body your heart has to work that much harder um, just to pump blood to your body. There, there's so many health risks associated with, yeah, the whole topic of the obesity thing was not to put anyone down or judge anyone. It was just to bring an awareness that we are unhealthy as a nation. Yep. And it needs to be recognized. And there's, you 
you know, there's so many terms out there. It's just that, you know, there's people that are skinny. You mentioned not liking the word obese, but I mean, if you look the word fat up in the dictionary, it's just a staple word that means someone who carries around more mass than someone else. It's the, the word fat is in the dictionary and it's just a generalized term that we've used to, which I'm not saying it's the right term by any means. But there are people out there who associate skinny as, as offensive too. They don't want to be called skinny. Right. You know. So, so what do you? What do you? There's no right. politically correct. You're. You're. you're <laughs> right. What do you do? We don't. Okay. I mean, that's not. How do you say it? Big boned, overweight, fat. Right. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not. I'm a little insensitive when it comes to that because I've been there. I've been called overweight. I've been called fat, chubby, husky, whatever you want to call it. And I've been called skinny and crackhead and everything else because I lost so much weight everybody thought I was sick so I've been to both ends of the spectrum um, but again it's not this it, it, what we what I'm saying the topic that I mentioned isn't to insult anyone it's just to bring an awareness and let you know that there are ways to help and there's things out there that can be done it's just that have been over complicated right watching this video right now if is because watching. if you're still watching is because we want to help mm -hmm. we're not making a dime off of this this is just something we're spending our free time we're sitting in a car going to and from the gym and sharing thoughts and sharing advice and that's all it is it's, it's just opinions and advice some of it's been researched and some of it's yeah. learned yeah. over time so we're not trying to be ugly we're not trying to be mean it's mm. just if you're still watching it's because you have an interest and you are curious so follow like share yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys like the videos um, i guess that's it, that's it. all right see y'all later <laughs>